guys so now we are visiting TCL right here at CES 2026 they have some impressive looking TVs RGB mini LED but there's a new technology they call SQD which looks very impressive let me show you how it looks come on right, let me show you just a little comparison that we have here this is the TCL super quantum dot TV and just to show you what the difference that it makes so over here on the right we have the mini LED which is already out this TV is already out it looks nice I'm not gonna lie it looks nice but I don't know if you guys can see the brightness difference the pixel density the colors everything looks sharper on the new SQD or the super quantum dot they enhance those colors and the brightness levels as well so it looks amazing now here's a comparison with the RGB mini LED which is what's trending right now everybody else has this RGB mini LED but I'm very impressed with this new TCL super quantum dot you might be able to uh, not see exactly the, the accuracy of the brightness and colors because it's just so bright with this camera but my goodness all those little highlights in the brightness and the little lights and the colors the blues it is noticeable so very impressive 10,000 nits of peak brightness my god looking forward for this four subwoofers in the back look yeah. at that so this is 98 inch yep. 98 inch SQD mini SQD LED, mini LED. From TCL. It, it launches today it should be already available right yeah launch on Monday to uh, kick off CES. Monday uh, we wanted to kind of introduce a splash with everyone to make sure that they could see everything yeah uh, but yeah less than one inch thing actually point less eight of an inch one inch Look at that beautiful brightness. So this is the SQD Super Quantum Dot. 10,000 nits of peak brightness, you said? Yep, and 20,000 local dimming zones. 20,000 local uh, And that is on our X11L, which we think is like, going to be like the king of TVs uh, in 2026. Oh, it looks absolutely beautiful. X11L. Is this also going to be available in different sizes or just this size? Yeah, so out the gate, uh, what's going to be shipping a little bit sooner from what I hear is going to be our 85 and 98 inch version. Okay. Uh, we do have a 75 inch version as well. Okay. Uh, and that 75 will ship uh, soon after. Uh, not too much of a delay between the, the smaller size. Maybe in summer? Yeah, uh, actually not even. Uh, it might even be like just uh, before February, right? If we're already kind of okay. getting ready to ship out the uh, uh, the units for the 85 and 98, it should be maybe like a couple weeks or a month after. Oh, so. nice. Nice. Yes, that comparison with this one, the SQD, even a mini LED and then RGB, SQD stands out, like especially those specular highlights, they do, you can notice a difference right away. Oh, man, one thing that's really kind of big, right? So yeah. both our RGB mini LED and our SQD mini LED will hit 100% of BT 2020 or okay. 2020. Yeah. So you're getting bolder saturations in your primary color, like your reds, greens, and blues. But you're also getting a lot more of a range in your secondary colors, your purples, your oranges, things like that, in terms of how those are created. Uh, the biggest benefit when it comes to using SQD over RGB, right? Uh, you get more local dimming zones in terms of the contrast control. Yes. Uh, but you also get a higher level of white saturation as well, right? Oh, okay. So what yeah. happens with an RGB mini LED backlight, uh, that RGB is only kind of creating off of the three different light emitting chips, the red, the green, and the blue. To get white, all three of those chips have to fire simultaneously to kind of create the white color, right? Yeah. Uh, now with SQD, you're still taking traditional uh, backlighting technology in terms of how much light and luminance is harvested, but using our super quantum dot layer film, you're actually kind of being able to kind of hit a range of higher whites, uh, so that way the white is more accurate. Oh. So for example, you'll see that TCL logo there in the kind of upper left yeah. corner. Uh, if it's not a high quality RGB mini LED TV, some of that red that you see there might actually seep into some of those areas of white. Oh, okay. uh, versus now on SQD because your contrast is kind of you know built in to be a little bit more at a higher level of zones and yes. a higher. You're also getting the zones from the, the mini LED backlight. You're also getting pixel level precision from our advanced LCD panel manufacturing as well. Uh, yeah. So everything from the, the backlight itself all the way down to the panel is getting everything down to exactly the pixel that it needs to be kind of pixel uh, precision. Exactly. Exactly. Wow, this looks beautiful. Man. Well, thank you so much for all that information. This looks amazing. Absolutely. You guys already have a ton of awards over here. Yeah, we've, uh, we've won quite a few. I think uh, some of these are actually brand new as of today. 
Yeah. But going into you know day three and four of the show, I think there might be a couple more that get dropped off. But what's kind of crazy about TCL is whether you're looking at the X11L, uh, our RM9, which is kind of our RGB, yeah. or even some of our mobile products, you'll see those awards are kind of uh, quite frequent at the TCL really booth this year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We actually have the biggest booth on the CES show floor as well. Oh, nice. So that's a, a first for us. So uh, number one in terms of booth size, but hopefully number one in awards at the end of the day across all Yeah, the absolutely. Products. I mean, looks... Uh, you guys are getting too much. <laughs> <laughs> what about gaming features? Does it have also VRR and all that yeah, gaming it'll, features? It'll be built with a game accelerator as well. So um, it, we us, uh, usually have to run with AMD FreeSync Premium Pro as kind yeah. of a, a model on some of our upper end QD Mini LED TVs. Um, but you know, we also kind of you know, are, are thinking about refresh rate as well. Uh, so last year we had TVs with 144 hertz refresh rate na uh, native. Oh yeah. Uh, we'll see that kind of kind of uh, stem through some of our upper premium models in 2026 as well. Oh nice. Well, looking forward for this. I mean, they look stunning. Very similar to all the performance when it comes down to even black levels too. And that's a byproduct of panel expertise, right? So when you think yeah. of TCL, we have a branch called CSOT. Uh, oh, CSOT yeah. is kind of like our engineer's playground. They're able to kind of take all these ideas of how to build high quality displays and kind of really turn it into real life, right? So yeah. uh, half of the cost of pretty much every major TV that you see today uh, is dedicated to the panel itself. So a TV that has a very, very strong panel, uh, like I said, panels break everything down to a pixel level of precision. Yeah. Uh, but it also kind of, you know, prevents things like light leakage and blooming and things like that, uh, you know, in, act in action with your backlight technology as well. So yeah. uh, strong backlighting, uh, strong super quantum dot, a strong panel, and then uh, what kind of sets T-Cell apart is our ultra color filter of 2026. Um, everything from zones down to pixels is kind of overlooking that effect. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, you talk about the evolution of TCL, right? Yes. So what I want to show is kind of our manufacturing expertise here oh, in terms wow. of creating micro LEDs. So micro Back LED uh, is kind of you know, done in cabinets, but kind of put a uh, format so that way you can see a 16 by 9 image of 4K native resolution, right? So this is 163 inches of micro LED. Wow. All made the TCL corporation for our display manufacturing expertise, right? Yeah. So a display like this, Obviously, is a little bit more uh, commercial in nature, uh, but you know, if you really want a luxury private theater, you can get it. Yeah, that oh as well. my God, this uh, looks amazing! What this room is actually meant to show is this display. You know, depending on who you work with, uh, could cost a consumer or a business uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars to kind of put together in terms of integrating the system, right? Yes. Uh, but what we actually want to show is this: this display, uh, you know, as big and bold and beautiful as it is in terms of the content. Uh, and These are the rear speakers, and all you need is just power. It seems like there's uh, umpire speakers right here. The speakers in the front. I'm also interested in reviewing the QM7L and the QM8L, which I didn't get a chance to review those models this past year, but these ones are looking great especially if they implement the SQD Super Quantum Dot. Oh boy, really looking forward to that. Over here on this side, we have the QM8L, which is also the newest models. Look at that picture. The CCL, very impressive job they're doing. I'm very, very happy to see all the improvements, all this new technology coming straight from CES and hopefully we'll see this very very soon guys very very soon stay tuned for more videos Joster right here Las Vegas CES 2026 let's go